Hi, this is Adele, and in this video, I'm going to explain what these are about. This is an old-fashioned system, and this is an old-fashioned system, but it's how important documenting your work is. So stay tuned, watch to the end, because you're going to want to see the whole thing. And if you like the channel, please hit the subscribe button below because every Saturday morning I come out with new information and fun tips all about art and painting. And if you like this, please hit the like button and share it with all your friends who might enjoy this information. So thanks and let's get started. Well, here we are, and most of you who are watching this probably have no idea what this is. I mean, yes, you see the slides, but I have been painting for so long, over 30 years, and I have been documenting with slides. This is how we used to get into galleries. Before the internet, um, before a website, you literally sent them a slide and you had five seconds for them to pull it up, take a look at it, and say they'd say, yes, pile, or the no pile. So I want to show you, I have kept all these from 1998 where I have detailed idea, detailed slides and everything else. And so I have a wonderful record of everything that I've done all along the way. And that's what I really wanted to talk to you about. I have maybe 10 of these and they're so much fun not only to go through, but it's just so great to see how your style has changed, how it's actually still the same. Before I did the slides, I wanna show you this very old fashioned way, just so that you know, I've been organized for a while. This is a file and I have the, the year, the date, and every single piece that I did in this month was um, I had a title on it, I, had a, I drew it, I said what size it is, on the back I put which gallery it was with, and so I kept great files that way for years and years and years. And then I did also two more, can you believe all this? Um, but take a look at this. This is, well here's 1998 and even 1997. Um, but for instance, I'm just gonna randomly draw one. What is this one? Okay, this is, um, and when I put if it's sold, here are several more. This was 1998. I put a, t a title, a uh, year on it, the year, the month, and how many I did that month. I put the, the, um, the size, the, the, a little image of it so I knew exactly where, and again on the back, I took exactly where it is. And then when they sold, I put sold where they were. Um, so this is an old fashioned way and now I don't do this anymore, but I'm so glad that I have them because I'm always surprised when I go back and I still see that I have plenty that are, for instance, look at this one, this one that I randomly picked out. It's similar to my style now in several ways. So you can see your progression and still how you really don't, once you develop your style, you really don't change very much. You change, but you don't change, um, you still recognize it as your style. So I hope that you keep records. Whenever you do it, take a photo. If you can, print it out because it's really fun to see it in a, a camera. I guess that's old fashioned, but that's the way I do it. So. Um, Thanks for looking at all these old fashioned things. I can sit down for hours and just go through them and go, oh, I re and I remember every single painting. Look at all the paintings that I've done, but I remember every single one. Now, one last thing. I know everything's digital now, so make sure you take photographs of everything um, and back it up to the cloud so you'll have them forever. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.